What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to be talking about something very cool that LG hit me up about just yesterday. Um, this just came in, we're going to open the actual package that it came in so we all get to take a look at everything that comes in. But as you can tell from the title, this is going to be taking a look at the LG Velvet. This is going to be the unboxing, just some very quick first impressions. But uh, this is available in the U.S. starting tomorrow, I believe first on AT&T and then T-Mobile and Verizon a little bit later in the summer. But uh, yeah, let's just jump into this unboxing LG Velvet. This is beautiful. What is that, Velvet? We're taking a look at the actual shipping box and see it's a rather large box for a phone. This is, I'm guessing this is not retail packaging. A little bit of info about the display, the design. Um, this is the playbook. We'll take a look at all this. So first, we have the LG Velvet. This is the AT&T model. Like I said, this comes out uh, tomorrow. What I'm a huge fan of, uh, the dual screen. Oh, this is dope. So this is another case if you just want to use the phone by itself. This looks like it's like a wallet style. These slashes here are for cards. So that's nice, got a little red, white, and blue going on. So this is a UV cleaner. What you can do is you put your phone in here and it will actually UV clean it, which destroys bacteria. And I talked about uh, a different version, something like this in the last uh, Cool Tech of July video. But along the back, you also have USB power out, USB power in, USB-C, which is what this is. Then you have USB type A power out. Whether you're getting work done or binging a new show, the expansive display in an LG Velvet enhances your experience. Enjoy movie theater on the go with a 6.8 inch 20 by 5.9 aspect ratio, uh, WLP entertainment with the dual screen, which is amazing. Take notes, doodle, and draw on the go with uh, with Wacom AES compatibility. Oh wow, with both on both velvet and the dual screen. So you can, if you have a, a Wacom pen, which I may get because that's really cool, and it's you can draw on the dual screen, and I can see where that would come in really handy because I, I do a lot of for my work. I do a lot of photos, I take photos, and then I'll mark them up and send them out to people. So uh, that's cool. I'm gonna have to check that out. Uh, the Velvet, starting with the name, the, now this is what got me is the name Velvet because all I think about is coming to America in the barber shop where he's rubbing the, the, the king's lion and he's like, what is that, Velvet? Uh, LG is moving away from the G and V series and adopted more expressive names that fit better individual, individual smart. I don't hate this because I'm very tired of the, you know, an LG is the G, the G V, the V60, the G8, the, you know, all those stuff. And then the same thing with the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Max Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S. I just, I appreciate just some, a name. Like, hey, what do you have? I have the LG Velvet. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the LG Velvet 2, the LG Velvet 3. But I appreciate like a custom name. This phone has 5G connectivity already built in, so that's amazing. It's IP68 rated. It has a 4300 milliamp hour battery. It's got a 48 megapixel main camera shooter on the back. Uh, we talked about the uh, 6.8 inch. It's an OLED screen, so you know it's going to be very nice. Uh, it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along the bottom, USB Type-C. Uh, it doesn't have the DAC that everybody's used to. That's not a big deal for me because I don't use a headphone jack at all. So, you know, if you're upset about not having the DAC, okay, but not a big deal for me. It says it has something with, for vlogging, it has voices with, focus with voice bokeh. And what you can do is you can separate the subject from the background while recording videos, manually adjust the background noise levels to make more control of your videos, how your videos sound. That'll be interesting. Uh, I'll be interested to try that out. So my last video I did, I really, the whole video, I sort of talked about how great the phone was without the dual screen. And I, I still think that's true. I think LG makes a fantastic phone. I think the dual screen gives you some functionality but I made the point in my last video that, hey, you know, this is a great phone and I bought a case just for that phone saying, hey, even without this dual screen, you know, if you want to call it a gimmick or whatever, it's still a fantastic phone and that's how I was using it. Um, now LG this time sent you the dual screen and a case, so maybe they're listening to your boy, I don't know, but uh, I appreciate that because there is times where I don't need the dual case like on a day-to-day -day basis, but it is nice to have. First we have 
the velvet. Oh, snap, that's not white. That's literally silver. That is really nice. You can see like the teardrop camera setup. We have USB type C to USB A for charging, a SIM ejection tool, and their uh, fast, LG's fast charger. Like I said, it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G, which is a 5G mobile uh, chipset. 6.8, 20 by 5.9, full HD P OLED cinematic full version. So it's 2460 by 1080, 395 PPI. Uh, memory, it's got six gigs of RAM, 120 gig, uh, 128 gigs of memory, and you can put a micro SD card in up to two gigabytes, or two, two terabytes. Camera, 48 megapixel standard, uh, the main camera, eight megapixel wide and a five, mil, uh, five megapixel depth. The front facing is 16 megapixels, battery 4,300 milliamps. Uh, again, if you're using that dual screen, uh, the battery from the phone powers the dual screen, so you're probably gonna get less battery life there. Runs Android 10. It has an in-display fingerprint sensor, HDR10. The dual screen, the screen is the same exact specs as the other one, 2460 by 1080, the main one, 395 PPI. This is the little magnetic adapter for charging, goes along the bottom. USB Type-C plugs into there. Very strong, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Um, there's your dual screen. There's a small screen at the top. So, I mean, I like the way this looks. Don't get me wrong. And it's not a big fingerprint magnet. It seems thinner. I don't know if that's just me tripping out or what, but it seems like it's thinner. Like a faux leather, you got two card pockets there. I don't think I'd use it because I just like the design of it. And usually when you use a card and something like that, it ends up stretching out. Full protection all the way around, so I like that. While well, I was checking for updates, let's take a quick look again. Phone soap. So what it has is you have two sets of UV lights at the top and at the bottom. So when you put your phone in here, it's going to clean your phone. This is a nice touch. It looks like multiple size phones is gonna fit in here. This is a very large unit, um, but I like that. About the pricing on the phone, uh, from what I've read so far, $599 US is what we're gonna start off with. I'm sure there'll be carrier discounts and stuff like that, but that's, um, that's what I'm hearing so far. This had a price tag on it of $199. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, links are down below, but I'll leave it on the screen here. At Geeky Nerd Dad on both. I'll be putting, you know, samples of this cameras and just my thoughts and stuff. Setting up the um, fingerprint scan. Seems to be working pretty fast, at least the setup process. This has a dedicated Google Assistant button along the side. Right above it is your volume rockers, and on the other side is your power button. Phone safety. Do not remove battery when your phone is unresponsive. Tap to check how to restart your phone. You cannot re. You can't. Pull a battery. I don't even think there is there any batteries. I did a flip phone the other day that you can take the battery out, but is there any smartphone that you can take a battery out anymore? I don't believe so. Very nice. Where are we at with brightness? We're about 55% brightness right there. So obviously, if you go past it, they're going to give you, hey, you're going to be sucking down your battery, but I mean, it, it, the camera's not even. Let's go down. I usually, I'm a pretty full bright type of guy. So let's take a quick look at this with the dual screen on. So to get this in, you just slide it down first and then pop it back. That's it. Turn on dual screen. So there you can see the dual screen. I like how it's sort of continuation. So you can have multiple things going on, which I think is the benefit of having the dual screen. You can do multiple things at one time. You can have it sitting like this and actually watch a video. Anyways, I've talked about the dual screen before. I'll leave links to the other videos that I've done on LG dual screen phones down below so you guys can check those out or up in the info cards above. But that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shout out to LG for sending this out. I think they've done a fantastic job again with the LG Velvet. Dual screen, it looks like it's a very good upgrade. Not a fingerprint magnet anymore. It has a very nice look to it. Feels a lot lighter and thinner to me. Uh, I'll leave a link for this down below. Like I said, I think the pricing's gonna be around $599 US. 
uh, AT&T right away, which is what I have, which will be available now by the time you're seeing this video it'll be available or tomorrow that's gonna be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you can hit the thumbs up make sure you subscribe down below hit the little notification bell so you guys if you're interested in the velvet you can see my following videos that will be coming up talking about this device again follow me on instagram and twitter i'll be sharing some photos and different thoughts on this in the upcoming weeks that's gonna be it thank you guys for watching i will talk to you in the next one